Yo, 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 my brothers and people, it's your boy Big Printer, uh, otherwise known as Kieran Prendergast. I'm a professional esports driver for Brabham Motorsport. Today we got ourselves a hot lap challenge around Monaco in the McLaren MP4 ball or slash ball. Uh, otherwise known as um, Ayrton and Senna's car um, that he drove in the, uh, the year 1988. Now, I'm going to try and beat his lap around Monaco. Uh, I know it was like a 1 minute 23.998, I believe. But um, I know that for full on fact that the lap that he did was insane. It was something like 1.4 seconds quicker than uh, Alan Prost, which was his rival and also his teammate. And they were in the same car. Now, I don't want to bore you too much with the details and stuff. Uh, I'm fully ready, fully immersive, and uh, I'm going to set some hot laps, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Right now, so um, as we sort of get into the video and before we start our lap, I just want to make a quick note on a few things that um, are different to what he would have been using compared to what I'm using. Um, so obviously I'm using like a, a formula steering rim uh, with paddle shifts and stuff, whereas he'd probably be, well he was using a, a circular rim uh, with a uh, sequential gearbox as well, I kind of butchered that word, but um, yeah, it's a bit different, but um, I guess it gives us somewhat of an advantage, but um, like the tight corners and stuff, they're going to be a bit tricky and whatnot, um, I haven't set a, um, I haven't put a setup on it or anything like that, but um, we're going to set some laps and uh, see where it takes us. Right. So hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well with the helmet on. Um, as I mentioned before, like I said, we don't have the uh, circular rim and uh, we also don't have the uh, sequential gearbox, so... So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> Could work out a bit more easy or a bit more difficult, but we can see what we can do. Jesus. I can tell you now. This isn't going to be easy. Jesus Christ, the car doesn't even turn. Right, take two of trying to beat Senna's lap. Uh, let's see if we can make a lap, or go around the full lap at least, because that was a bit bad, that first try, so... Oh, God. I don't know if that's just a setup issue or a skill issue, but the, the thing does not turn. Crazy amounts of turbo lag. So you've got to really be careful when putting the throttle down as well. Jesus. Right, let's just sit a lap and see what we can do. Got a really feather the throttle coming out of the uh, coming out of the exit. Oh, I nearly pinned it there. Okay. Not good. We've got some work to do. Right, I think do you know what, yeah? I, do you know, I mean business now. I mean business. I think the gloves have got to come on. Let me get those gloves ready. 
Alright, let's try that again. We've got to try and beat it 23, 9, 9, 8. So. Can't be that hard, ladies and gentlemen. People. Alright, let's go. Take three of trying to beat Senna's lap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So much power. Jeez, you know, you gotta really be careful with the down shift. But it does not turn. Oh, that's the ball. Uh, there is a corner there, but it is an outlap. Okay. okay let's go. Let's start on that. Oh. No, this is going to be hard, bro. Okay, the car is damaged. <laughs> it's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. All right. Take four of trying to beat Senna's lap. It's proven much more difficult than I thought it would be, to be honest. And if anything, I've got a bit of an advantage. So in theory, I should really beat this time, considering it is on a, uh, a platform that I normally race on as well. So it's just quite tricky to drive this car, man. You got so much turbo lag. Downshift as well, it's almost like he wants to spit you out and throw you into the barrier. So you have to really be careful with the downshift. How do these guys did that in real life? Our first laps are 143. Jesus Christ. God have mercy upon us. <laughs> We've got to really work on our pace. You really have to flip the throttle to keep the revs up. So you're spooling the turbo. You're locking the wheels and everything, man. We flat spotted the tyres after all this looking up and that. I can really feel it on the wheel. Okay, that's an improvement. 127.2. Bro, we haven't even beat Prost this time, bro. This is... What's going on here, mate? <laughs> Jesus. Right, so, we've made some changes. Um, I thought we'd start off by putting the Goodyear Eagle E's on. I'm not too sure whether that's softer or harder, 
But uh, I'm just giving it a try to see what it see see how that um, see how it goes. Uh, also, drop the fuel as well because I think we're running 50 liters of fuel, and I'm pretty sure Senna wasn't running 50 liters of fuel during the quality lap. If he was, then obviously I should say I've already hit a wall, bro. What's wrong with me? Let's let's go again. Oh God, I feel like I've got more grip now, which is good. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, that turbo sounds lovely though. God, bro. So it appears that we that those those changes that we made have actually helped. I reckon I can smash this time, to be honest. All right, all right. Let's try that again. I think we're getting close. I think we are. Well, our PB is twenty four zero seven. I don't know how I did that lap, to be honest. But um, we're getting close. I feel it, I reckon we can beat it. Two hours later. Oh, uh, hit a wall again. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on! Come on! Let's go! My man. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! It took me 32 laps. That was so hard. <laughs> 
I can't even begin to put in words how hard that was. I had to literally get used to the car and just literally just try and nail it. And it took me 32 laps to do that as well. And, and that's not even considering there's a 32 completed laps. So, you know, the other laps and stuff, we won't, we won't talk about those because some of them wouldn't even make a lap. We just kept on binning it on out laps and stuff. It's so tricky to drive people. So tricky to drive. Well, we did it. The time to beat was a 123.9. And we did a 123.3. I reckon we could have even gone a bit more quicker. It was a bit of a sloppy lap. It was a bit sloppy, to be honest. Coming down to the chicane here as well. It, it, it felt like we could have probably... Uh, nailed that a bit more better but every single time I kept on coming to that first bit there I kept on hitting the bloody barrier you don't realize how where you, how much sort of room you have with this car as well and because it's so aggressive on throttle it's just yeah but we did it we did it we did it, people. We did it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the... Um, a little, I'm, not, I'm not even going to go in that pit box there. I hope you guys enjoyed the little... Um, the, uh, the tribute video uh, for Senna. So, um, rest in peace, Senna. Um, like I said, it, on, under different circumstances, um, you know, I, I found it, and even at that point, we, we, we had an advantage because we were using paddle shifts, they were using sequential gearboxes, I'm pretty sure they're having to heel and toe and stuff with the clutch and whatnot, but you know, you know I've, got, I've got to take my hat off to. Uh, the drivers of that generation because they are insane to, to drive an animal like this you have to be <laughs> you, you have to be something special and especially Senna as well so um, yeah that's my little tribute video um, for Senna around Monaco people if you enjoyed the uh, the video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button join the discord as well the links are in the description below um we are planning on releasing some more content like this some more videos so please do check out bptuning.net uh and yeah make sure you hit that notification and that bell button people it's a pleasure as always i'll catch you next time peace out